Cooking in Kenya is way more dangerous than you might think. The bad fumes kill more people than malaria, HIV, AIDS and tuberculosis combined. And today with us we have our vlogger Tom and he found a solution to this problem. With his company Green Char he produces a whole new kind of charcoal. Tom could you tell us a bit more about why you um, started this company? Yes, yeah, so when I was young, uh, I saw my mother cooking and I saw the bad fumes that she was breathing. And uh, four years ago, she, she was diagnosed with a respiratory tract infection. And so I decided to come up with a solution for the problem. And uh, at Green Chai, we came up with this new type of charcoal that doesn't create these bad fumes. It's much better for you and it's just as easy to use. Okay, but isn't your charcoal more expensive? No, no, they're cheaper in fact. Uh, so the reason why they're cheaper is because we make them from uh, upcycled agricultural waste. The problem is that people in Kenya hold on to, to their traditions too much and they don't like new things that are new or different. So when you try to sell our product to many people, they say no. And you're trying to break these barriers here in the country. And how do you try to break through these barriers? Well, there, there are some kitchens who can't use a uh, uh, green chair and so they definitely refuse our product. This is especially in the rural villages but we are making uh, deals through we are making deals to these people and so we offer them this new type of charcoal at a better cost and we offer them incentives like uh, t-shirts and uh, prizes that they win and once they get starting to use it they stick to it. So in this short time We've already impacted 8,100 people, and it means that uh, the methods you're using are working. Thanks, Tom, for sharing your story. If you guys at home want to know more about Green Char and how to support them, make sure to check out interconnection.com.